hey guys what's good welcome back to another one of my videos so for the longest time i've been asked to do makeup videos now the only hesitation i've ever had is that i'm not a makeup artist by any means i literally watch makeup lovers and makeup professionals on youtube and i just taught myself over the years so i never want to come off as knowing i never want people to be like oh your technique's wrong uh because it probably is who cares um but I, I had so many people when i said that i was gonna start youtube what should i do what are um ideas that you guys liked and i got a lot of fashion makeup and um hair stuff so i'm trying to make sure that i put a little bit of everything in here for you guys but i did decide to do an everyday makeup look from start to finish this is exactly what i would do it's very basic so I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you're down for this look, please keep watching. It's funny because if anybody ever does an everyday tutorial and they don't show pan in the ones that they're using, I don't know if they're telling the truth because you can see out of this whole palette, the ones I use the most. So when it comes to highlighting, it's about where the sun hits your face, where you want the sun, the lightest parts of your face to be. Same with contour, with their shade being cast, where would it hit on your face? You want to accentuate these aspects of it. Also, when using a matte foundation, what happens is sometimes you look very flat. So I love matte foundations, um, especially in the summertime, I find they're just better for like my skin or what I want to achieve that also means that you'll look very one-dimensional I'm sure everybody's seen that one girl who just didn't know any better and it's almost like a flat face it looks kind of scary so what highlighting and contouring does is that it makes that dimension in your face um, but the way that beauty people usually use it is to accentuate things that they want to accentuate and then hide things that they don't So I look a little bit like a crazy person right now, not just because there's lack of mascara, but I have to talk about the NYX eyeliner. So I've always done a cat eye, I'm kind of known for my cat eye. It's something that I had to do a lot of crooked eyes, <laughs> like wonky little wings at the end, so many different times to be able to figure out what's good for me, what's good for my hand, and what's the best for my face, and then continuously do it over and over and over again. But one thing that I always love about a winged eyeliner is when it kind of just like cuts like a knife at the end. 
so i like it when it's just a very crisp it's one line it just boom hits it right there so in order to get that this is my only guy to go to so it's the nyx uh matte liquid liner i've tried their velvet as well velvet just has, has a little bit of a sheen to it eh, i'm indifferent to it but i prefer matte and it's just perfect. So it's a uh, waterproof, I believe. It's lasts me through a lot of gym sessions. Um, but it's the liner. It's the actual tool itself. Of how just pointed that is. So it's so cute. So, of course, I don't usually put on lashes in my everyday life, but I really wish I could, okay? I wish I could. Um, for me, I find on camera, it's just easier for to see my eyes that way. But also, I would wear lashes all the time on weekends and everything like that. So, if I'm running errands or whatever, it just gives a little oomph to my eyes. Um, I do want to try eyelash extensions. I've done them before, and I think they're perfect. The only thing is, you can't really use oils with them, and uh, makeup so makes it a little bit hard. Um, but these are just very basic, very short, small, uh, more natural sized uh, eyelashes. You probably see them in all my videos except for my makeup ones, except for today's an everyday look. What I usually do use though, at least of lately, is my Marc Jacobs. I got the primer here and then I also got the mascara themselves. This combo is great. As these eyelashes dry off a little bit, I will put on usually a chapstick or um, my favorite always is the Fenty. This one is uncuffed. Alright, so put that guy on. I'm just running errands today and I'm going to fix my hair real quick. All right, so this is the final look, my everyday makeup look. I try to use oranges and browns for my eyeshadow look and then pop on a more neutral, your lips but better kind of color. Uh, I find lipstick is kind of the key too. You can just do lipstick and mascara and wear sweats and then add some heels and people are like, ooh, fashion, right? It's like this false pretense, but you're like cozy in these track pants. It's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if there's any other makeup tutorials that you guys want me to show you, I know I do a lot of very fast, more colorful ones on my Instagram. If there's any of those that you want me to recreate for you guys, I will. Any suggestions, send me Pinterest photos. I'm all here for it. So I hope you guys enjoy 